If you search up Flamingo Incident on just about any social media, you'll find tons of videos that consist of edits and animations of certain moments from videos made by the Roblox YouTuber Flamingo. These videos are generally giving creepy and sometimes even disturbing things to them in order to create an ominous and or scary feeling. But what exactly are Flamingo Incidents? Why are they so popular and how many are there? Well that's what I'll be explaining in today's video. I'll start off by explaining what Flamingo incidents are more thoroughly. These incidents are specific moments from videos uploaded onto YouTube by Flamingo that have several different aspects that allow them to easily be taken and turned into something terrifying. These aspects could include death, unexplainable events, sad occurrences, etc. There are two things that every incident has. 1. A specific player or players that either do something or have something done to them. 2. A small or big series of events that are either caused or just recorded by Flamingo himself. Out of all the incidents, the three most popular include the Mouse Man Jeff incident, the Jake incident, and the Haka701 incident. The Mouse Man Jeff incident was from this video titled, I Stole Roblox Dreams Lives Using Admin and Ruined Them. In the video, Flamingo is seen using admin commands to turn himself into a player named Mouse Man Jeff and start acting like him, before turning the avatar of everyone else on the server into that of Mouse Man Jeff's. There are multiple reasons as to why this moment is considered a Flamingo incident. Something to remember about the incidents is that, for lots of them, you should try and think what the victim behind their screen is feeling and seeing. In this case, the player of Mouse Man Jeff probably has a lot of confusion huh? and, most notably, fear. Another reason is that, despite it not seeming like it, this could actually be a pretty scary thing for some people to experience. Like, just imagine you're trying to spend some time playing a regular old Roblox game, when all of a sudden, a random player begins manipulating everyone and even yourself into saying things you aren't saying and giving everyone the same appearance as you. I'm pretty sure that would scare or at least worry a lot of people. But this isn't the case for all of the Flamingo incidents, because sometimes the person behind the screen who gets scared is Flamingo himself. A great example of this is the Jake incident, which is one of my personal favorites. This incident involved a player named Jake randomly run up to Flamingo while he was trying to build something. Jake is then killed by an angered Flamingo and, coincidentally, some sort of object or something strikes the side of Flamingo's house, causing him to go outside to check what happened. I don't think I have to explain too much on why this is an incident, but in simple terms, Flamingo kills a player, thing hits Flamingo's house, people joke that Jake threw it, and then, scary animation, scary edit, blah blah blah. Now moving on to the most famous one of all, the Haka701 incident. Even if you've never heard of Flamingo incidents before, but you do watch Flamingo, then you probably know who this person is. In this incident, Flamingo is seen doing a rap battle against another player named Haka701. Haka had been relatively mean to Flamingo before they did this, so Flamingo decided to tell her in front of everyone what he thought of her, and said the infamous words, Haka, I don't like you. However, from saying this, Haka got shocked and scared, and she began questioning him on how he knew her name. This was because, in the specific game they were in, players were unable to see their own usernames, but were able to see other players' usernames. Flamingo decided to use this to his advantage, and began to scare Haka even more, pretending that he was tracking her down and saying several other things. After a couple years, people began to make content on the incident, causing Haka's account to gain a lot of traction. Well, she already had a lot of attention from being featured in Flamingo's video, but I'm guessing her part in the Flamingo incidents boosted her popularity even more. The crazy thing about this whole event is that Haka has not been online since, meaning she most likely thought Flamingo was actually a dangerous person and either quit or made a new account. It's unknown who exactly started the Flamingo instance trend, but my guess is that short form animations and edits had blown up on social media apps like TikTok and then spread to other platforms. It's also unknown how many Flamingo incidents there currently are because of how many are made just about every few days. There are way more to cover than just the Mouseman Jeff, Haka701, and Jake instance, so if you want to see a full video explaining the most popular instance I can find, comment below. This was the Flamingo Incidents Explained, and I hope you enjoyed the video. 